Thrifinistas. It's your girl Thrifting Huntsville and I'm back today to tell you how I grew my hair back thicker and healthier. So y'all, if y'all been on this journey with me, then you know like a few years ago, I cut my hair completely off. I was not into doing a big chop. It was just, girl, my hair <laughs> was doing the wobble wobble, okay? It was on the struggle bus. It could not be revived. It, it didn't matter. Like it was just all the way gone. Okay, like Mary J. Blige probably could have sung a song about my hair. My edges was missing. It, it was just awful. But nonetheless, what I did do was um, I started researching and learning how to grow my hair back thicker and healthier and just started implementing some things. And what I actually came up with was the three, two, one method and at the time I did not know exactly what it was but then when I started getting so many people inbox me like girl how did your hair grow back so full and so thick and so luscious what did you do honey and I was like oh well you know and when I started writing it down I was like huh this makes sense it's a three two one method so let me go ahead and start off right now I know you're probably like girl you got on a wig what is up with that okay of course one of the ways that I definitely grew my hair back was with protective styling you already know if you do not put any heat on your hair um, if you're not actually like manipulating your hair or doing anything to cause it to grow or excuse me to fall out then those things the less hands that you have in your head okay, the more likely it is to grow on your hair. So um, that's definitely one thing I do is protective styling and I wear a lot of different wigs, but with having on a wig, I take care of my hair underneath the wig. So this is not just throw a wig or slap it on my head and keep it moving. No, it doesn't work like that, sis, okay? You have to work, 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 work. Okay, so, <laughs> so we're gonna start off with three. Every three months, guys, every three months, I schedule a appointment to get my hair professionally trimmed by a beautician. Me, I do not like wearing natural hair looks. Every once in a while, I would do one, but for the most part, it didn't bother me to get my hair pressed out and get them to trim it. So a lot of times, if you watch some of my older videos, when I got my hair pressed out, if it looked shorter before um, than when, after I got it pressed out, that was because I always had them trimmed. And for me, I do not like dead ends or split ends. Like I would tell my beautician, if it needs to go, trim it away so sometimes you know my beautician i'm not gonna lie she's a little scissor happy okay she will chop a little bit more than what i wanted however if it was going to cause my hair to grow back i'd rather it grow back and get it chopped than to sit up here and have longer hair but dead ends because eventually it's all gonna split so every three months i just scheduled an appointment so that's four times a year, once a quarter. That is not going to really get your hair heat damaged. If you are a person that likes natural hair and you don't want it to revert or it may have trouble reverting back to that coarse mane that you like, then maybe not do this. Maybe get it blow dried for me and my hair, okay? <laughs> that's exactly what I did. The second thing for three, so this is like the rule of threes. Every three days, I apply oil to the scalp of my hair. So on here from my oil, sometimes I use the Wild Growth Hair Oil. So if you can see here, um, I use the Jamaican Black Castor Oil. Um, I use the like grapeseed oil. I use the Organic Extra Virgin Coconut Oil. And this is the Olive Oil Conditioning Hairspray. So it just, but I did every three days, I put some type of oil in my hair to have it moisturized. And I'll put all the links of the products that I use as well. So I did that to make sure that it stayed hydrated underneath my wigs. Now, when I put the oil or the, um, the oil in my hair, I did not put on my wig as far as like until it was all deeply penetrated onto my scalp. So a lot of times I would put it on at night before I went to sleep, put on my bonnet, and then in the morning by the time I wake up, it's penetrated, I can put on my scalp because if you do put your weave on it, you don't want to make your hair oily or greasy or anything and mess up like the um, weave on the hair. And then for the last three, every three days, I did some type of cardio. So you already know like to get that healthy hair, scalp, and everything going, like you do need to exercise on there. So I mean, you still have to do things to take care of your body. So every three days I did cardio exercise and that was usually like for me Monday, Wednesday, and Friday or Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. I would just go like if I'm talking on the phone with my mom or my friends, I would just walk around for like an hour or a half an hour talking to them. And before you know it, 
it's you already got your cardio in for the day or if you're watching like television like Braxton Family Values you can watch that at the gym and so a lot of times at least three days a week I do try to get in cardio so that is my three methods three months trim three days oil and then three days of cardio now let's move on to two every two weeks I deep condition my hair um, with some type of deep conditioner or set. So I personally like to use Design Almond Butter. And the reason why I like to use that is because that is what my beauticians use. So if you do have a beautician, I will always say opt to use what your beautician is using. So that way your hair just has some consistency and it goes like, you know, it's not like, okay, we're using this product, this product, or find out what products really, really work for your hair if you cannot afford the items that your beautician use. So Outside of that, I like to use Design Essentials, but when Design Essentials um, is not in my budget because it is a little expensive, I did use this Argan Oil by Morocco, and it's the Repairing Conditioner. I don't know if you can see this. And I use this conditioner as well as the Argan Oil Shampoo, and this is like the Revitalizing Repairing Shampoo. And so one of the things that I would definitely say is whatever you decide to use, I would always use the products that go to that. So if you do not have a beautician, if you do not um, you know, have any products, I would not bounce around from products. That is just me personally. I would not say, hey, I'm going to use Shea Moisture Conditioner, but then use, I don't know, Cantu um, Shampoo. To me, a lot of the lines, they go together for a reason and they have something in the shampoo and conditioner that makes it work together. So the more that you kind of get that consistency with your hair, the better that you are off. But every two weeks, I've always deep conditioned my hair. And then every two days, I massage vitamin E oil around the perimeter of my hair. So pretty much like the edges, the outer perimeter. Um, I always have some type of vitamin E oil. So as you can see, a lot of it already has been used on there. Now with this, this definitely works. It depends on how many units. For this one, I have 50,000 units that I use. But once again, any vitamin E oil is definitely known for like hair restoration and bringing back up your hair. And so what I did was I would go around, especially if you're wearing wigs, you want to make sure with wigs or frontals that you're protecting your um, hairline, that you're not pulling it out or, you know, so much strain on it with the wig sitting on top of it. You want to make sure that you're doing those things. So I massage every two days. So we oil in it on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, but then on Tuesday and Thursday, I'm just massaging around the perimeter on there, the vitamin E oil. And then for my exercise regimen, every two days, I try to do a strength training. Now, y'all, I hate weights. I'm not even gonna lie, act like I'll be in there, mm, mm, getting it, getting it. Nope, I don't. So every now and then, I may go to a class at the gym. I may come home and try to use like my own body exercises where I do some push ups and sit ups and do those things, you know, just incorporating my own body weight. But I did at least try to do something um, on those two days. And that was not necessarily an hour long. 15 minutes can start there, okay? So do something. And then last but not least, we're going to go to one because this is three, two, one. Last but not least for one, um, I do actually take um, one multivitamin a day. So give me one moment. Let me go ahead and get it. All right. So this is the multivitamin that I take. It's by Future Biotics Hair, Skin, and Nails. Now on here, it says that you can take this multivitamin three times a day. I actually take it twice. I just take two of them in the morning, but you can take it. And I think this is, has contributed to my hair being very healthy and like long and skin, like, you know, just my overall skin looking well. My nails have started back growing, but I bit them. And then like, this is just giving you that healthier hair. So I encourage you for you to take any type of multivitamin. Now, some people I know, I have very sensitive skin. So some multivitamins that I've taken, they made me break out or give me rashes on my face or different things. This multivitamin did not do that. The only downside about it is that it makes hair grow everywhere. Okay, so you fill in the blank everywhere so you're not just gonna get some good healthy hair there it's gonna be everywhere honey so like you're gonna have it underneath your underarm so it might look like you got someone in the headlock okay so you're gonna have to shave and you're gonna grow it probably on your legs and you're gonna grow it those other places as well as you will start to grow it like on your cheeks and chin so a lot of times i do have to go and get my face threaded and that's because, like I said, 
It just doesn't stop at your hair, okay? It grows everywhere that you can produce hair on your body and it's going to be extremely thick, but it does grow it fuller and longer. So I would definitely um, do that. And then once one month is the maximum time that I would keep like any protective style. So this is a wig that is very detachable every night or when I get tired of it, girl, probably when I turn off this video, I'm gonna take it off and throw it somewhere, okay? <laughs> but I do try to make sure that if I do get a protective style, whether it's braids or anything, I do not keep it in for more than one month. And then once a day, I try to consume eight bottles of water and that is just to you know help with the actual hydration of my body and hair and health so this is my method that i use the three two one method it has grown my hair fuller um, i'm absolutely in love with it i would definitely insert a clip of it and if you just want fuller and healthier hair um, it will grow your hair longer but once again we want healthy hair, okay? That's what we want, fuller and healthy hair. Eventually, if you start with that, the foundation, it will grow longer. So if you want longer, it will come, but this is healthier and fuller hair. I hope that you enjoyed a video like this. All of the information that I said will be in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching. Talk to you later.